to begin our cardinal artwork, we need to use a diagonal line. Start high and end low across the middle of your paper. Starting at the top of that diagonal line, you want to use a smile line that wraps almost all the way around but leaves a small space where it does not connect. This space is for our cardinal's tail. Use two more diagonal lines that flare out like a slice of pizza. You're going to want to use another smaller smile line to connect them. For a feather detail on the inside of our tail, we're going to use long and short lines to fill in the space. Since we can only see half of our cardinal bird, we only need to add one eye. You can draw an eye in any style you like. To add in the area for the black feathers for our cardinal, we're going to use a big round curved line just like the letter D. This is adding a beak of your choice. You can have it open or closed. We need to give our cardinal a wing. So you're going to start with a dot right below that diagonal line for his back and then use a big smile line to wrap over to that diagonal line. This is going to create his wing shape. Use some short curved lines on the inside to mimic the texture of feathers. If you wanted to, you can even use that feather detail texture on our cardinal's tummy. Cardinals have two legs, so in order to be able to color inside, we need to add two straight lines right next to each other to create one leg. You want to do that twice to make sure our cardinal has two legs. The easiest way that I've ever done bird feet is adding two lines down on either side like an upside down Y and then connecting them with a capital M. This gives them three little talons or claws. We're going to begin a branch. The bottom line of our branch is going to go underneath our cardinal's feet. The top line of our branch is actually going to go above his feet, but remember, pause and pick up your pencil so we don't chop through the legs we just drew. You can use short, wiggly, wavy lines, zigzag lines, or rough lines that are longer to add in a texture onto our branch. Remember, you want it to look like it feels like bark. Our evergreen sprigs are up next. In order to create these spiky branches, use a long wavy line and then attach short spiky lines on both sides. They should remind you of evergreen trees or Christmas trees. You can add these branches anywhere that you have space. Anywhere on that bottom branch, top or bottom, in front of or behind your cardinal bird, and if you wanted to, you can even make it look like he's peeking out of a tree by adding some in the top of our paper. We're going to focus on using a complementary color pair in our artwork today. Since we're drawing a cardinal, you'll see lots of red and green that are going to work together to make our cardinal super vibrant. Our red is going to be for our actual cardinal bird. We want to fill in his head around that curved line where he has black feathers and then fill in his tummy, his wing, and don't forget to fill in his tail. You can use a black marker or a black crayon to fill in his black feathers around his eye. Afterwards, we're gonna move on to green. Our green is for our evergreen sprigs. So you wanna use short, spiky coloring while you're going and tracing over top your short, spiky lines. This is really gonna help them feel like an evergreen tree or a Christmas tree. Now we can add our detail colors. You can use any type of brown or gray or black to add details into the middle of our evergreen branch and on that big branch that's holding our cardinal up.
choose either yellow or orange for our cardinal's beak and his legs. If you wanted to, you could just pick one color or you could mix and match and use both. Let's choose a color for the sky. While I chose a simple blue for a blue sky and filled in all the space around our cardinal, if you wanted to, you could make it nighttime, you could make it snowing, or you could even make it sunset. It is completely up to you how you fill in your background sky. Nice work. You're all finished.